On September number 19th, 1846, two French shepherd children, Melanie Clavet and Maximin Girard, encountered a beautiful lady sitting on a rock and weeping high in the French Alps at a place called La Salette. She told them that the reason for her sadness was the betrayal of her son and neglect of his holy church throughout the world. The lady's message and accompanying secrets include such apocalyptic warnings of the unleashing of the powers of hell all throughout the world that modernist forces inside the Catholic Church made every attempt to discredit the authenticity of the message and even the sanity of the seer. Nevertheless, the Church officially approved the apparition of Our Lady of La Salette and Pope Leo XIII erected a basilica on the very spot where she had appeared some six miles from the nearest mountain village. And yet still, the modernists inside the church have been relentless in attacking the message of Our Lady of La Salette because she warned of the coming times that we are living through now. She warned that priests, ministers of my son, by their bad life, have become cesspools of impurity. She said that God is going to strike in a manner without precedent. Woe to the inhabitants of earth. God is going to exhaust his wrath. She said that society is on the eve of the most terrible scourges. One must expect to be ruled with an iron rod and to drink the chalice of the wrath of God. Lucifer, she said, with a great number of demons will be unleashed from hell and they will abolish the faith. The church will be delivered over to great persecutions. This will be the time of darkness. The church will have a frightful crisis. She said civil and ecclesiastical powers would be abolished. She said that all order and all justice would be trampled underfoot. One will see only homicides, hatred, jealousy, lying, and discord, without love for country, without love for family. She predicted that civil rulers will have one same design, which will be to abolish and to make disappear all religious principle in order to make room for materialism, atheism, spiritualism, and all kinds of vices. She said the wicked will deploy all their malice. They will kill themselves. They will massacre themselves mutually. She said Rome will lose the faith and become the seat of the Antichrist. On June 1st, 2023, some 50 American traditional Catholics made a pilgrimage to La Salette to represent all those today who would stand with the Mother of God against those forces which are trying to destroy the church, to uncrown Christ the King, and to abolish the faith of our fathers. There on that mountaintop, using a prayer composed for the occasion by Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano, they spoke on behalf of their countrymen they prayed on behalf of their countrymen, and they consecrated themselves, their families, and their country to Our Lady of La Salette. They invited the world to pray with them, keeping in mind that Our Lady of La Salette called on all of us to seek refuge with her against the forces of Antichrist rising throughout the world. She said, I call upon my children, my true devotees, those who have given themselves to me, so that I may guide them to my divine Son. Go and show yourselves as my dear children. I am with you and in you, provided that your faith be the light which enlightens you in these dark days of woe. May your zeal render you like the starving for the glory and honor of Jesus Christ. Fight, children of light, you the small number who can see. For behold, the time of times, the end of ends, but I will fight with you. I will fight for you. Here then is the act of consecration and reparation that those Americans prayed high in the French Alps on that day. O oh, August Queen, most holy mother of God, mother of the church, our lady, our hope, help of Christians, to whose name the hosts of angels bow down and the infernal hordes withdraw in terror. Kneeling at the foot of your throne, 
we invoke you, and we ask you to listen to our prayer. Tormented by the grave apostasy, which strikes a mortal blow against humanity, and by the crisis which afflicts the members of the mystical body of your Son, in these places, blessed by your apparition to Melanie and Maximin, we consecrate ourselves, our homeland, and our holy church to you, so that thanks to your powerful intercession, and by virtue of the merits of your compassion and co-redemption, you may deign to implore the divine majesty to spare us from the punishments that loom over the world and over the nations. We offer our nothingness to you, aware that we are completely indebted to your divine son. To you, we entrust and consecrate ourselves, our families, and our loved ones, so that every breath of ours, every beat of our heart, may be an act of praise to the one who as a provident and most loving mother has so often admonished and called us to correspond to the infinite love of our Creator and Redeemer by a virtuous life following the commandments. Protect us in this terrible battle against the enemy of the human race who seems to be unleashed today as never before in order to snatch souls from heaven whom Jesus Christ has redeemed at the price of his most precious blood. To you we offer and consecrate our homeland, begging you to implore for it the peace of Christ and the kingdom of Christ. Grant us good and holy rulers who will govern the nation according to justice and respect for the law of God. Inspire in them the strength to resist the snares of our enemies, the courage to fight them fiercely, and the humility to place all hope in our Lord Jesus Christ to whom all earthly power belongs. Obtain for the United States of America protection and defense from the furious assault of Satan. May your virginal foot crush the head of the ancient serpent and thwart the infernal plans of his servants. Hear the prayer of so many good souls and spare America as you spare the inhabitants of the repentant city of Nineveh. To you, Queen, and Mother of the Church, we consecrate the spouse of the Immaculate Lamb, and in particular the hierarchy and the ministers of your Son. Remove from us the scourges that here at La Salette you announced as impending on us all because of their infidelity. Confirm in your love the clergy and religious who have remained faithful to your Son and move to restore conversion those afflict his most sacred heart with their sins, scandals, and sacrileges. Let the holy city of Rome rediscover the faith and be a beacon of truth for all nations, and not, as you have revealed, the seat of the Antichrist. O Mary, our advocate, offer to the most holy trinity the sacrifices, penance, and fasts that so many of your children carry out in union with the passion of the Lord Jesus. May the voice of the many priests who are persecuted because of their fidelity to the gospel rise to the throne of God's majesty, as well as the voice of the faithful who, thanks to them, are able to feed on the bread of angels and sanctify themselves through the holy sacraments. May the graces of which you are the mediatrix descend upon all of them, upon all of us. Finally, accept as reparation for our sins, the sins of the nations, and the sins of, this, of your son's ministers, our humble act of submission, by which we proclaim and acknowledge you as our Queen and Lady, and your divine Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and King. Preserve us in your love. Accompany us with your intercession during this earthly exile, and welcome us into the blessed glory of heaven. And so may it be. Carlo, Maria, Vigano. Accompany us with your intercession during this earthly exile, and welcome us into the blessed, blessed glory of heaven, and so may it be. Benedictio de omnipotentis, Patris et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti, descendat super vos et maniat semper. Amen.